Oh wait, I'm looking at really bad lighting here. Oh, everywhere's bad lighting. Hey guys, so it is like 3 a.m. in the morning and I am headed to the airport. I'm very excited. I'm wearing my airport outfit and I'm ready for this trip. So guys, follow me to Asia. Our Airbnb is, and it has like, we're like on the 22nd floor. It has this cute little bathroom and then the shower. And then on the other side, it has like a tiny little sink and a toilet. And I think that was really cute. And views, where are the views? You can't really tell, but we got views, slight views out here of the city life. People are up surprisingly late in Thailand. It's kind of weird. Here is our uh, early morning, late night snack, I guess. What do we call this? It's like five in the morning, so. It's dinner time back home, so. Yeah, that's true. So. Dig in. Hey guys, so we are just about to go out to the city. We literally woke up around 2. I think it's like 3.30 or 4 right now. And we're just going out. We just got like all of our makeup done. We uh, were basically like just like going on the town. Today we're just going to have like a really chillax day. Just going shopping, eat some food, explore a little bit. And that's really gonna be it today. We didn't plan for an extra day anyway, which is perfect. Um, we had an extra day we didn't realize. So this is gonna give us time to get used to the time zone, get used to being out at this time, and just, you know, have a relaxing day. So this is good, this is really good. We're gonna get some of the stuff done that we plan to do other days, so we don't have to rush everything on the other days, which is really nice, so yeah. Kim's in the bathroom, let's wait, let's watch her make her grand exit. Here's Kim. Leaving the restroom, wow. Mood. <laughs> a mood. <laughs> okay. So let's go, guys. Like almost done she's devoured this thing um, and I'm ready for next and she's ready for next I'm still full from last night because we ate like at 5 in the morning I'm not it's really she's she's I don't know if she's ever full so it's really strange <laughs> I got a pineapple fried rice and it's gonna be yummy okay bye so today is the second day and it's been a tragedy that you know we are up at 8 a.m. and the <laughs> why is that a tragedy because I didn't sleep look at our food they're jealous clearly of our food Hey guys, so we are going to be eating. It's the second day, and I am very tired, but you know, I'm trooping through this first meal of the day. I'm ready.
got fried rice. Say hi, Kim. She got basil pork rice. Looks pretty good. I got crab fried rice, guys. We are at this market and it's pretty lit. It has a bunch of food, lots of very fresh fruit. Um, food is cooked for you like right then on the spot. They have like a fresh seafood and everything. It's really great. And so we are living, we're eating. Um, then we're going to go to another market that's like right across the street. Okay, well, not right, really right across the street, but you know. We're going to find close a way to cross. Huh? huh? We're going to find a way to cross. Yeah. And so we're going to go there and do some shopping and see if we can find stuff. We, we passed a really, some really good uh, stalls, so we're definitely going to go back and get some stuff. It's been a good day so far, so. Okay, so Robin is trying durian, which is like a, a huge tropical fruit here in Thailand. And a lot, of, wait, before you eat it, a lot of foreigners think that durian smell is really, really, really bad. Like, they can't even be around it. And yeah. let's have it a go. Yeah, do it. It's actually really good. Oh my god. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it tastes like kind of sweet and like, it's a little bit mushier. I would the, like, but, uh -huh. you know. Robin actually is Asian. Like, there's no way she's black. There's no way. Mm. Oh my god. So this is what it looks like. Mm. And that's what it looks like earlier. Like, it's in, like, these, like, pokey... <laughs> like, sp it's, it's actually, like, made so that animals can't get to it. Because it's so really? pokey and hard on the outside. Like Later you should find one so we can touch it. But mm. it's very pokey and hard. It's hard to open up. But that's why animals can't get to it. This is pretty good. And like I don't even, I'm like really picky with fruit. And you really like, like really it? Really picky with fruit. Wow, yeah. this is like the king of fruit. They call it the king of fruit. Alright, I want some too. So guys, we decided to go to a sky bar. Look at this view. We got our drinks that are a billion dollars, but it's okay. It's fine. They're cute. You only get one life this time. Honestly. Look how beautiful. We have. There's. Guys, we're at McDonald's right now because we feel like we have to try out every McDonald's, you know, in a different country, of course. So here we are. Okay, so I got the, I got the chicken cheese. I've never heard of it before, so I'm like interested. We'll see how it tastes. No faces detected. It's Tinder's for show. It's really good. We need some in America. Here's what happens. The next day, Kim and I, we have to catch a flight to Phuket super early. Then we have like an hour and a half drive to our actual hotel. So we're still kind of feeling like the jet lag because we want to explore Bangkok. So we're exhausted by the time we get to the hotel in Phuket. And tell me how when we get there, the hotel tries to deny us and say we have to pay more money. And, you know, we're trying to figure out what's going on. Like, we have no more service. We can't contact anyone to figure things out. Like, it's so ridiculous. It's so difficult. And honestly, the hotel didn't even look as nice as the pictures. So we just ended up leaving and, you know, having to find a new hotel. Um, we find a new hotel. It's still really not that nice, honestly. But at least you have a place to stay that's not trying to, like, jip us out of our money. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at in the next part of this video. Hey guys, so we have arrived in Phuket and it has been a stressful evening, um, but you know, 
we're going to go out tonight and we're going to um we're gonna figure out a tour because we have no idea how to get one of those a boat tour for Fifi Island. We are going to eat dinner because we're both starving and hopefully go to the beach and see a little bit of the beach and also go to Bangalore Road, so yeah. Hey guys, so it is nighttime. We are at a restaurant. It's called, it's, oh, scroll down. This is the re- oh, okay, that's so fast. So this is where we're eating at. It's called Tropica Bungalow and Restaurant. And it has lots of different options for food. Like they literally have everything, including hot dogs. So mm, we'll see, they even have like club sandwiches. But we're gonna try to stick to Thai food just all the way in the back they even have seafood too but yeah lots of options so back to you guys later okay guys so this is legit my dinner and inside ah! Rice, yum, I love, I stand forever. Hey guys, who's with me? <laughs> They take cars. It's too expensive. Yeah. Big folks all. What do you think about that? Are you ready for this? So beautiful here. Look at this gorgeous beach. Stunning, absolutely stunning here. Like what? Is this real life? I'm honestly shooketh. I absolutely adore this place and it's beauty. This is really nice. This is really wonderful. Um, if you guys would like to know what I just stepped on, um, here it is. It's a jellyfish. Felt very jelly. Uh, yeah, don't recommend.
monkey beach right now. Hoping a monkey jumps on the boat. <laughs> Ryan Little. <Litton. laughs> monkeys, guys. There's monkeys. I want to get close to we are at lunch finally. We just got off the boat. Hmm? Uh. Okay, guys, so we have eaten lunch and we are now just chilling on the beach once again. It's so nice out here. So beautiful. I will show you guys, of course. But yeah, this is the vacation so far.